Hey guys, it's Last Pro Weekend and Luxbu. And this is Game Gamut with a very, very special edition with the one and the only. Hi, I'm Cardinal Smith. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Cardinal Smith <laughs> is a, another fellow YouTube creator and um, Twitch streamer as well. I Right? You do that? Yeah, oh. part time. Hey. He dabbles. He, he, he he's an act. He's he's active in the gaming community. And, yeah, and he's a he's a good guy. He's a funny guy, and uh, he's he's one of our more. Uh, he follows our channel more often than than others. So we wanted to take the time to you know sit down with him and talk and talk to him. Yeah, that's, and, that's yeah. kind of why we're here right now. And I mean, it's also I think the fact that you know <laughs> the Cardinal here creates a lot of great quality. Uh, videos. I mean, I, he's one of the few guys that I really, really enjoy yeah. watching. Yeah, and he, <clears throat> much like us, he likes to poke fun at himself. <laughs> he has some funny videos where he just pokes fun at himself, but also plays really fun games, like, you know, like the Mountain Blade games that you, the, you, you. I mean, it's it's time of the past at this point, but you know, they're, they're there, they're there, and you and you enjoy them. Right. I play plenty of stupid ass games. Let's let's be honest, and but those are ideal for making fun of yourself. Um, Absolutely. Thank you for having me on, guys. Um, I've been following your channel, you know, probably since just before you've had 100 subscribers. And I'm kind of a lurker. First and foremost, I'm a fan of YouTube and, you know, content creators like yourself. Um, thank you. You know, that's, that's just, I enjoy watching. I spend ages just watching videos and going through. And I really don't comment enough. I'm more on Twitter, probably, but it's yeah, a, it's, I think this is a great idea. It's really cool to chat to you guys as well. Yeah, I um, think I think that's what I that, honestly that's what I'm most excited about is just you know have a, a nice dialogue going between us. Yeah, you know, and, and just sitting to, down with you know the, the gamers that that follow us. Yeah, and you know, so um, guys, you will find the link to his at least his YouTube channel below. I don't know how to do the Twitter stuff, but if I can get link your YouTube your your Twitter page, I will do that as well. As a CEO of Twitter production. <laughs> I'll get that for you. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, so, bro. <laughs> so I think before we, you know, keep going on and on about how great he is, uh, which which he is, Cardinal, you're, you're fantastic. Uh, hey, we will start this, with. I am loving this man, love. This, <laughs> one, one quick thing before we get in, we want to mention we haven't done this before. We are. Cardinal has been personally selected for this. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we're actually sitting down with a gamer yes. and and interviewing and, and just doing it, you know, a nice YouTube interview. And this is something that we're gonna go forward with. So it's, one can hope. One one can hope. One can hope. Oh, and it's totally new to me, I might add. <laughs> 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 and I hope I'm not as boring as shit. <laughs> no. I think you should definitely carry this on. You should uh, keep keep going keep rolling with this, but let's Let's go with it. Let's, let's go with let's, it. Let's roll with it. I All agree right. with it. All right. So take it away. I'll I'll tee us off with um. So why did you why did you start you know YouTubing? Why did you start streaming? Why why did you start in general? <laughs> why are you here? <laughs> you gonna in end general, or what? In general, why are you here? Why are you gonna end? Why did you inflict this on people? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I started watching YouTube back in 2005, you know, silly cat videos and people falling off skateboards, uh, like anybody, like anybody who has, you know, too much spare time. Um, and then I started finding people playing playthroughs and walkthroughs of games on YouTube, and it was just fantastic. I just watched whatever game I was playing at the time, usually boring ass strategy games, um, where I needed tips in other than cheats. Um, and then I kind of just got the idea of I'll do this for fun. Let's let's create my own video. I had a shitty laptop. Um, my first ever video starts with just fuzz of sound. Uh, <laughs> it is so bad. Uh, but I haven't had the heart to take it down either. <laughs> it, you gotta show where you start, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it, it, honestly, it was just um, for the, the, the laugh. You know, it's the crack, they say over here. Just for the, the banter. Um, you know, it was for me as well who just kind of egged me on to do it. And since then, I've sort of gone through a few transitions to maybe taking it a little more seriously. But it's all for it's for fun and laughs, really. Yeah. And I it's... poke fun at myself every day. Why not do it at night, too? <laughs> <laughs> and so what's kind of like, you know, when you 
I think you were kind of touching on this, but like, what's kind of like really like the message you're hoping to send with this? Is it kind of like the laughs, like the the com- the comedic part of it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, these are video games, and that's what I think you know what both our channels are about, and they're there to have fun with. That's that's why they're created. So, um, I I get a lot of entertainment out of watching funny stuff, and kind of you know as well as the walkthroughs, and I just if I can make somebody laugh, then it's been a bonus video you know <laughs> yeah amen brother through that <laughs> through that that's it it's it's entertainment at the end of the day and it's just it's good to have you know mm-hmm. and you do it well man you do it well <laughs> you do you do uh, it well you guys are flatters this is like <laughs> uh, you know we try <clears throat> um they, they teach us I well. didn't get how nice you guys were from your videos you know <laughs> <laughs> he is a jerk isn't he <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I am a, I'm a sweetie. (laughs) I am a sweetie. So, uh, uh, Cardinal Smith, what's been your biggest challenge on YouTube and how did you overcome that? Kind of taken away from the, you know, the nice fun stuff. Everyone can encompass his challenges. Absolutely. Uh, YouTube's got plenty of challenges and I think learning is one of the biggest ones, but, um, transitioning from making little crappy videos on a crappy laptop to maybe wanting to make something of it and you know put stuff out there that it is watchable <laughs> um, was the biggest part um i need i didn't have the equipment or the skills and i guess i i spent about two months um trying to work on my hardware get a microphone and then start learning how do you how the hell i use photoshop or video editing software that's not <laughs> windows video editor where you just to put the tiles together and hope for the best, yeah. you know, and get a side wipe for the different videos. <laughs> you're, you're still ahead of us on that, so good for you. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's ahead of the game right now. <laughs> no, no, really, though, um, like, when I found Reddit, like, at the start of the year, that's when everything changed. The subreddit for Let's Plays mm-hmm. was a chest of information and that and, you know, people's opinions. But it, it was it, trying to absorb all that and then make, you know, try and fit that template that Reddit almost requires of you sometimes was uh, is a difficult learning curve. Um, but then you find your own, I think you find your own rhythm. Yeah, you know, I, w- I want to kind of expand on that a little bit. The, the whole Reddit thing, I think Reddit is just a great outlet for your YouTube channel. I mean, you have the Let's Play that has, as you said, a whole chest of information. And then it, there's also the subreddits that you can post your videos on to kind of just get your, you know, your video out there and have people critique it and see where it goes. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how I, I found you, uh, <laughs> Exactly. Cardinal, is I Match think it was, made in heaven, man. Exactly. You know, was, Reddit, man. <laughs> Match.com <laughs> slash Reddit. <laughs> um, Match.com slash our Reddit. <laughs> See, I, I find you guys on a Tinder subreddit just swiped right straight away. <laughs> so you do like the logo, thank you're, God. You're, you're too kind. You're too kind. Um, but yeah, no, I I totally agree that it, especially that that's because I have always kind of had the idea that in terms of you know small channel YouTube creation, it's not no one's making videos in a vacuum and it's about the greater community itself and i think that that reddit does an exceptional job at at, you know bringing the small channels together and saying hey here's a bunch of us who are making videos (coughs) you can critique them you can watch them you can you know do whatever you want and i think it it just yeah creates if if used right i think a lot of people don't use it how they should exceptional is a stretchy word man yeah (laughs) exceptional uh in, in terms of the amount of content that is thrown on there, on in terms of the amount of stuff that's thrown on there, there's a, there's an, an incredible amount of of content thrown on to yeah, like very know, true. the Definitely. let's play, let's play critiques, let's play videos. Like all three of those subreddits get a lot of traffic on in that sense. Yeah. But and I think if used correctly, that's how people get good. That's how people, you know, really actually grow <laughs> as a YouTube channel. Yeah. So I'm gonna th- actually throw in a curveball to the questions. Oh. Oh, Ooh, this Carl is Smith. not this is not scripted. Juggling behind my back, throwing the baseball. <laughs> How do you use Reddit in terms with YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> in, terms, in terms of YouTube, I mean, I, I only picked up Reddit, you know, for this year. 
Okay. Uh, Jeez, YouTube, I lurk like a boss, except for Feedback Fridays, where everyone just dumps their videos on there and yeah. hopes that somebody sees it and gets There's back to them. Too many rules for me to keep up with on that subreddit. He, he sticks to that. That's my oh, domain. <laughs> I, I know, right? You get you get some heat if you don't follow the rules, <laughs> mm -hmm. especially in Let's Play Critiques. Yeah. Yes. yes. You've got to give your two feedbacks first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> People no, to be honest, real um, something. I I, uh, I yearned the feedback because I had I had like 16 subs for the the first year of my channel and I was doing the one crappy game on the laptop um, and I just never had any feedback apart from my friend and work um, he's a great guy and he's usually honest and tells me how shit things are but um, <laughs> how I use Reddit is there's the advice on there you know somebody asks a question and it's really something I've been asking myself and they get the abuse for asking it because it's already been asked mm -hmm. I could just read the answers without getting the abuse back <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that deflection yeah. you know <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> uh, but Feedback Fridays was the biggest benefit to me and I think through Feedback Fridays and Let's Play Critiques is how I find your channel as well so really it's like you can see other channels get an idea of how other people do it and pick absolutely. up ideas or even you you know subscribe to new people you like no i agree with that absolutely that's something i definitely agree with I, I, there's definitely a lot of benefit out of just the whole let's play community on reddit and i yeah. think anyway I, I, yeah i would add though that a lot of the feedback that's given is sometimes to fit a template that yes you yeah. can do your own thing, you know, and it's like sometimes I'll, I'll some Fridays I'll post a video up on feedback for feedback and it'll get slated and then the same video elsewhere will be like, ah, oh, you know, I, I liked it. It was okay. It was good. Well, that's, that's the thing about Reddit is it's, it's everyone just follows whatever that subreddit you posted on. Everyone just kind of follows the guideline like to a T and yeah. God forbid you, you know, you're an honest person just trying to go out of the guideline a little bit. They'll just follow it. Well, yeah, and, and it's it's Ugh. it's it, it goes out of being constructive criticism. So, some people definitely just love to nitpick. I think you know I I've seen plenty of people and how they how they critique other YouTube other videos yeah. and you know I'll I'll go and watch a video and be like you know I actually just thought that was really good. <laughs> you know, like I I just thought you did a really like there there are plenty of people who have like. <clears throat> There's one guy who like you know have like you know five subs and he's like what what do you guys think of this video and people are critiquing I'm like honestly I thought that was fantastic <laughs> you know, I thought that was a really good video and like you know, if that's... you're getting it on that subreddit I mean hey, yeah. you're doing something good there but and, but you know everyone like everyone wants to like just knock someone off or something because you know they just think like oh well I do it better so if they aren't doing it better or then... I've been critiquing for so long yeah I, I have the medal of honor of one year critique. yeah and and so <laughs> I. I think, yeah, I, I totally agree with you in that, you know, there's definitely, like, some people just, you know, will definitely just hop on some sort of bandwagon with it and just kind of take uh, it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There's things to learn there. There's tips oh, you can yeah, pick yeah. up. You know, definitely a lot of information that's really helpful. You you know, just don't take it as gospel. Yeah. It's, you got you to gotta nitpick yeah, exactly. a little bit. Exactly. You know, that's for find sure. Find out what's beneficial and what's yeah. just yeah. banter. There, there, there was plenty of stuff when we first started, when we first started out that like when I was looking for feedback, um, that at first I was like, oh man, like we're, we keep getting knocked for this shit. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then like, yeah, like oh, a lot of it was God. like for our audio and then I was like, all right, well then, you know, I took he a has long been. ass time and I'm still trying to get this guy to actually, you know, adhere to the, the audio rules. There is nothing wrong with my microphone. I uh, so Carl Smith, have you listened to my video? Can you hear me okay? I I can hear you. There fine, we go. He can hear but, me. We're uh, fine. It's not about hearing. It's not about hearing. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I guess when you start getting into the whole audio editing, you know, you you kind of really get into it. Yeah. yeah. Once once you start actually spending a lot of money on, uh, I mean, when you make a YouTube channel, you're just like, All right, I'm gonna record a video with my with my microphone, my crappy microphone, and then that's it. And then everyone's like, Dude, your audio sucks. And then you start spending fifty bucks here and there, fifty dollars there, here and on a webcam and a microphone and oh, software and. Man, it just there's a lot of capital. burns a hole in your pocket. A lot of capital involved. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of capital. spending money on software, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Me too. I can say that too. <laughs> this guy's a dumbass. So 
Hey, you know what? Sorry, I'm a good American citizen. That's a lick you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, on to the next question, then. Let's Before move on get... quickly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, when you play video games, what do you prefer? Multiplayer or single player? Um, to be honest, I probably both um multiplayer sucks up a lot of time but i like playing multiplayer with people i know or like you know steam friends or anything and because the the banter's uh pretty good so the accent really sticks out there when i say banter um <laughs> what are we but, talking about banter <laughs> uh, sorry yes i meant banter um <laughs> so in terms of solo games like when i get spare time where it's too late to record or do anything i i love like tuck it into civilization or something oh, you know some yeah. strategy go game <laughs> so five <What>? yeah <laughs> um no honestly like management sims and god sims and crafting sims i am addicted to because i don't know why like especially when i'm hungover it just eases my hangover they're no so slow i can pause them <laughs> Uh, whereas multiplayer, you have to like talk and like chat and <laughs> collaborate on the next with move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be a part of a talk team. Talk to people, <laughs> <laughs> help each other. <laughs> uh, but but in terms of where I want to get to and where YouTube related, I do want to play multiplayer games. I do want to like collaborate more and not just play shitty, uh, you know, two D platformer annoying games by myself. <laughs> You know, because playing by your playing by yourself is fun and all, but I mean, playing with others is it's a good time too. Huh? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I, I think that, uh, I think that. Uh, I you think, think that you like to play with others too? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm choosing some words carefully here. All right. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's I, just uh, I like coming. this guy. I like this He's coming. Spitfire, man. You can't <laughs> even handle him. What I'm trying to say is, without uh, you know, all due respect, <laughs> I, I think that's that's why a two-person YouTube channel worked really well. And I had this funky idea float in my head, and I'm not going to ex express it, because fuck you both. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I, I agree. I, you know, I, I, I see where you're coming from. It, having other people there to kind of just build on the atmosphere, it, it, it yeah. helps. Definitely helps and helps provide better content and make things more enjoyable. Because you're only so funny, Chris. <laughs> yeah, fuck sec. You know? <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> the channels, like, a lot of the channels I subscribe to are not just, like, one you know, stupid ass person sitting in a waistcoat, you know, playing games. Um, it's it's usually you know two or more like you guys or you know Achievement Hunter or lots of other different channels. You know, there's there's, there's the banter, the connection, the the you know the way they play together or talk yeah. to each other. No, that's I agree. And just having that. that flow with, and you have more people there, mm -hmm. it, it makes it better. It, it makes does. It, well. it does. It does. And I think it brings, you know, I think people who don't necessarily subscribe to like gaming channels like the entertainment factor. Um, and I'm only going from what I what I read and what I've heard. I've got a sister in law who in no way plays any games. And do you know Vanos Gaming? Yeah, I've heard of them. Uh, subscribes to them like a load of other channels like that, just out of the entertainment. Mm hmm. Doesn't care about the games whatsoever. Just loves the <laughs> just loves the laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was something I was I was reading on uh, Reddit actually this week was that you know someone was asking just like a general like audio question about like oh like should I speak during like these parts like should I read like the text in the game and they're like well you know usually I don't care what at all you're playing I just actually care to what what I'm listening to what you're saying and so that it's I think that's something that's a little bit underrated with let's play games and the, our channels themselves is yeah. the video is only secondary. It's really the audio that actually like what, what people hear oh, yeah. is, is what's the biggest thing. Uh, definitely. It's a, <laughs> the, you know, you sit in the, you, know, you go to videos and they're, they're sitting and there's say their cameras like pointing, you know, Hey, I'm Dave. <laughs> Those are nice. Swirls. I'm just uh, playing Hearthstone. And uh, it's uh, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, that's fun and all for some people, but goddamn it, I just like a laugh, all right? Jesus. 
Is there so much to ask? There's, there has to be some oomph value there, whether it's inf- informative or it's, uh, you know, you, you laugh at it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, it, but it, there's a line. You know, you can go too far and be a tool. Mm. Yeah, that's that's also very true. Yeah. <laughs> It's also just out there. PewDiePie. But that's just an opinion. We're going to go there right now. Oh, we're going to go there. No, no we're not going to go He's going to go there. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. He, he, he wants to hate the player. Link to and not another hate the channel game. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so on to the next question. Chris, what's your uh, favorite game of all time? Of all like, time. Of all time. It's not one I play now or have done in years but it's always been final fantasy 7 and it's not always a popular choice oh are you uh, kidding me i know no wait i know i know but no it's it's now. that's it's a classic man that's a that's a well, great choice I mean, thank god yes it is but <laughs> I, I, I get defensive before i even start explaining myself. <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, Final Fantasy VII, it was my first um, introduction to a game with, like, plot and character development. Um, and I was pretty young at the time, too. And so there's nostalgia there as well, which I think a lot of people feel nostalgic about a lot of old games, and that's why they like them better. Um, I'd watch my brother play it back when it came out, so it was 97, 98. Um, he worked in a game store, and he got to take home a copy one night to test it. And it was oh, just wow. class. It was awesome. Um, and like, even though it took me like five years to complete it because that particular copy cut out after Cosmo Canyon just crashed on this one. <laughs> <laughs> still pretty epic. Still feeling it. <laughs> still feeling. Still, still gets me. You know, <laughs> Harris. All right. Well, so that that's your favorite game you've been played in a long time. What's your favorite fallback game to play right now? If you don't have a game to like fall back, you know, you don't have a game you're gonna play today. You're just like, I'm gonna go back and you're you're bored. You're bored on some random odd day, and you're like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna. I'm and not, nothing else really suits you. What do you pick up? You're right. You know, there's there's no editing to do, or you can't be asked. And then you know, hey, where's a girlfriend in your life when you need one? <laughs> Civilization Five is right now what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> You guys are so cute. You should fucking play together. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean. No, no. It, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like one of those god games, one of those uh, management Sims type games. It is. Funny. I, I, uh, I don't know if it's a control complex, but god damn it, I love it. <laughs> yeah. No. Have you played? Uh, have you played City Skylines? Not yet. No, Not okay. yet, sir. Because that's that's why the same reasons you played. It was my fallback game for a little bit. So. I just thought I'd, thought I'd ask. I played I played Sim City a lot, you know, back in the day. But um, I haven't I've seen Skitty Skylines. Yeah, you should a... stream that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, I but. should. Maybe hey, maybe there's some we'll, ideas. Maybe maybe uh, maybe, but probably not because no, it's just not, our, you know, our, our typical league. It's it's a yeah, a typical typical league nights. Yeah, it's not happening. But yeah, no. Yeah, Sorry, it's, it's just, uh, yeah. Wednesday nights, you know, it's like bingo night at the <laughs> local pub. <laughs> bingo night at the, re- at the retirement home. <laughs> you know, let's put on some league nights. And, yeah, just put uh, on Wednesday's league. night is ladies' night. Fifty percent off IP. Yeah, uh, so uh, right, let's, let's just move on. Uh, yeah, ask me the next question. I think it's cool. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, uh, I was. I think I was uh, catching up on wet, one of the last Wednesdays. I was uh, following in you. You need to chat more on Twitch, man. You'll get involved nobody in that. Nobody says anything. <laughs> if if nobody someone says, says it, like, because like, the thing hey, is, man, what's well, up? Well, well, the thing is, is I'm, I'm still learning the, I'm still learning it. All right. <laughs> so like, in, in my upper left corner, there's like a little HUD that tells me uh, how many people are watching, and I never know if it's only me or if there's actually someone else watching, because it does one sometimes, <laughs> but I'll have Twitch up on my computer just so I can see like how I, you know, how it all looks and make sure everything sounds right and looks right, but. I can't, I can't, I don't know who's there. And so I don't know who's actually joining. And, you know, like, I just, I, I want people to like go in and be like, Hey man, what's up? And then I, I would, I would, you know, turn up a little bit, but. Oh, I, geez. I, right. I, okay. I know the secret word now. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> That's Next the code time, word. I'll be on that. You know, just, just put in a period. Just let me know you're there. 
Let me know someone exists in that world. Because <laughs> I, I, I really don't know, though, otherwise. On Twitter. What's that? I'll, I'll send a message on Twitter or something. Let you know. I'm... All hey, right, man. Do what it. a follower. Do it. <laughs> it'll, it'll make his night. It will make his night. Probably his week, actually. It'll, it'll let me know my investment. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's a quality investment. Uh, all right, so so Cardinal, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so we just talked about your fallback, your favorite game. What is what was your least favorite game to play? So I asked you guys on Twitter what was a good survival slash crafting game to go for between Seven Days to Die, H One Z One, and uh, Rust. I remember this conversation. You gave me the feedback of Seven Days to Die. Uh-oh. So Uh-oh. I bought Rust. And oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh. The reason I bought it was there was other, there was other YouTubers wanted to do a, a video collab on specifically on Rust. And I really want to play Seven Days to Die because you've said it's been updated pretty well. But my, like, holy shit, that game, like, sucks balls. Like... <laughs> That is so bad. It's, I know it's an alpha stage, like we say about all those games. You know, to be fair. Oh, it's only an alpha. It's not a shit. It is shit. There's nothing to it. You survive. You, this, the only survival is surviving from other players. They're all dicks. Uh, yeah. The only thing you can do is build a house, and it either gets raided by other players when you log off, usually Russian. Nothing against Russians. They're just all dicks on Rust. Uh, <laughs> then the server gets wiped every two to three weeks or delete it. So even if you do build something, it survives. It's gone anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I agree. Uh, you know, a lot of devs like they kind of like built because Russ was a little bit of the first of his kind. So people built off that, and there's a lot of better games you can play. But I'm just I'm a little offended he didn't go off a recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, no, Seven Days to Die is. I mean, it's still uh, it's still on the wish list. You know, we're we're friends in Steam now. You know, it's on my wish list. You know, so if any of you are millionaires, you know, feel free. But uh, funny you should ask. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> funny. You should... I just bought a scratch off yesterday. <laughs> we're really banking on it. <laughs> See my Lamborghini. Yeah. Actually, yeah, there's a stock that we're looking into. <laughs> Actually, no joke. I bought this. Oh. Today. Oh my National god, can Lotto we do this UK. on this right now? 100,000 What right now? Let's do it. Can we do it right now? Are you okay with that? You want to do it right now? Let's do it right can now. We, can we do it right now? I want to see. Shit. Do we need to do I need to share the money if it's uh No, it's all win? yours, man. Only if you win something. <laughs> Only if I win. All right. <laughs> That's the Why stipulation. Should I do this? Above 50,000 euros. <laughs> shall I get it in camera or something? Yeah, yeah. Right. you're going to have to you're going to have to move this. How do you move that? Can you move that? All right, guys. You know the rules. You need three of anything as long as they match. Let's. I was, I was thinking about doing a video for this, but now's the time. I feel it. Let's it's, do this. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is right. a team effort. This is a Scratch team one. effort. One at a time. One at a time. One hundred pounds of the uh, Queen Sterling. Oh man. Oh. Fifty bucks. Oh. Fifty bucks. You know, the, the lower ones, though, is what you got to look at. The little ones. Oh, no. One that's, single pawn. That's one the one pound. you don't want. No, we don't I want think that. That's, we uh, don't want that. I think that's a sign. No. 50, 50 points again. Oh. Hello. Hello. Okay. 5,000. Oh, oh, man. Here it comes. What's up? Four scratches. Big bucks. Oh, two points. What's that, boy? <laughs> Shit. Come on, Shit. we still have 50. <laughs> Son of a... Come on. One pound. Oh, no. One pound. Uh -oh. Right, guys. I'm not going to scratch in front of the camera this time. Oh, okay. Gonna... We respect the confidentiality. It's... it's, it's... Gotta leave him in suspense. You know why I'm taking him in suspense? Why is that? Because I just won one pound. Woo! Let's do a triple five. Triple five. <laughs> Alrighty. That was great. Look at that. Shit, so yes. profiting from this video. Oh. This is love. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, I'm glad you guys could be there for me in that uh, moment. It's... It was an emotional time for you, and I'm glad we were in there. In times as well. of turmoil, Game Jammer was here for you. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> there was one thing we could do. <laughs> so, all right. Well, gonna gonna cash that in after the video. <laughs> one pound for a one pound. That's a lot of too much alcohol, there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Continue, let's let's bring it on. Calm, you know. calm the noises a little bit. So, if you had a friend that wanted to make a YouTube channel, what mm. tips would you provide for him to be successful? Worst if I was, yeah, that's a good question. If if I had a mate who was starting out, um, first of all, decide what kind of channel it's going to be. <laughs> if you're going to do a gaming channel, obviously, but uh, decide if it's just going to be you or. Do you want pals, you know, to join in and stick with it? You know, see how it goes for the first few months. Next up, do a test video. Like, see how long it takes you to record. See how long it takes you to edit. Um, learn some of those skills. And depending on how long it takes you, decide how often you realistically want to go through all of that again and again. Um, because if it, if it takes you like a week, you know, don't... <laughs> like, sometimes it has me. Don't, you know, don't set yourself a schedule of a video a day because you're going to put yourself under way too much pressure and you'll lose enjoyment out of it so quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and from that, decide how often you're going to do videos. Um, like me, I, I kind of set a target of one a week because I, I just, it, it gave me a chance to breathe until it picks up. Plus, I have like very little subscribers anyway. It's <laughs> It doesn't affect many people. <laughs> <laughs> You're ahead of the curve, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess, you know, develop your own passion for it. Learn from it. You get new skills to sort of, you know, start getting into business speak, you know, as if you're chatting to your manager and end of your review. Yeah, I've learned these skills. I've learned editing and Photoshop. I can make thumbnails. Uh, <laughs> Going to get that bonus at the end of the year, that extra subscriber. Uh, but uh, what, whatever suits, you know, Develop your own style, um, but above all, be yourself, mm -hmm. because you'll just it'll just come across as a bit average or fake if you're trying too hard or you know it's sometimes off putting. Just be yourself, whoever that is. There's fans of it out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let them know social media too. That's the last one, social media, because otherwise you'll end up on 16 subscribers for a year like me. No, I, I, I agree like with the 16. social media. Man. Yeah, but no. Yeah, no. He's sure. at 77, right? 66. 66. But uh, hey, you know, that's... Uh, there's fans for every single type of video out there. It's ridiculous because there's hundreds of thousands of people watch YouTube all the time. Just oh, yeah. put it out there. I mean, it, it grows. It grows. And I mean, being consistent and, uh, you know, being kind of realistic with the editing, like you said, uh, and, and I think social media, like you said, is, is the biggest driver today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that's, that's definitely the most important thing I definitely to, to grow, to grow anyway. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. I mean, Reddit, I didn't have before this year. Uh, since then I've subscribed to you guys, you know, similar channels from it and there's a good community there. And that's, I think that's what it's about too, is the community. Yeah. Um, you sort of start building, um, yeah. and it's, it's class. No, it's it, sure. it makes it fun. That is definitely for sure. It, it, it's it's funny because you know when we started the YouTube channel, like I didn't realize how uh, how close knit the, the the community was, and just you know it's like it's almost you oh, know not, not, it's like a brotherhood almost. You know everyone's everyone's got each other's backs. Everyone wants to you know chat with each other, and I didn't I didn't think that that would be that that was there before we started the channel. Yeah, and it, and it helps to kind of yeah. like cement yourself in, well, into that. And I think it's definitely something where you know there there's people who are willing to have your back as long as you're willing to put in the time. I think that you know there there are mm -hmm. people who try to come in like you know hot and heavy and you know spam the shit out of you know whether it be Reddit or other people's YouTube channels saying like come view my stuff da 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 da, -da and it's like and they have subpar content and it's yeah. like okay like you know you you gotta you gotta you know, crawl before you walk, you know, and, it's, yeah. and I think some people don't quite get that. And that's why a lot of people get jaded really early is because 
they they try to make it like hot and heavy and they try to you know explode to you know thousands of subscribers in a, in a week and it's like no this is a it's a gradual oh. process yeah yeah, yeah you, nobody, nobody nobody becomes like, like nobody, nobody gets, gets a million subscribers in a, a week or even a thousand or even a hundred no no I mean, it, it, just, it takes it takes effort uh, you know, talking to the community takes a lot. You know, for I, that, that was one thing when we first started the channel. It was something I'd never even thought about was collaborating and talking with people in the community. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. it, it it actually kind of turned into a perk. Yeah. No, oh, definitely. For oh, sure. de definitely. I mean, it, it's, it's it's a total perk, and you can learn from each other too. Plus, you have something in common with them straight away. You got a shared it hobby. Um, and I like I'm, I have some you know friends from it now already. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased to meet you guys for the first time. So you only have one. Calm somebody. down, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, I'm just. <laughs> Damn! Now, now. Boom! Roasted. Now, right. now, Lux is getting feisty with it. He was, he's been he's been a little hurt by uh, your your jabs, Cardinal. So uh, he wanted to get he wanted to get a nice lick in. <laughs> it's all jokes, man. It's all jokes, guys. Just relax. It's all oh, so bad. Bad. <laughs> well I, just I think I just wanted out. to say you know personally from Game Gamut you know Cardinal thank you very much for taking the time to interview with us uh, it's actually been a lot of fun it, this has been a huge pleasure yeah and I, I, I look forward to playing with you in the future yes yeah, so I, I, can't I can't wait, wait to, to you know catch up like, like thank, thank you so, so much for even reaching, reaching out, out you know it's it's, it's been, been fun, fun. I, I've kind of like been excited uh, for this to meet you guys even after watching your videos um, so I, I'd be it's, it's kind of like a like a stupid fanboy here, you know, going like, "Hey guys, uh, hey, how's it going?" You know, come up and Skype and all. It was like, "Oh my god!" Uh, so it was just it was it's all been class. Um, and certainly, you know, let's uh, let's play a game sometime. Yeah, absolutely, man. Let's play. So, um, you know, guys, uh, if, for those of us who, if you are new to the channel, watching this video, please hit the subscribe button. If you are have been around before um hit hit the uh like button and then whether you are new or old look in the descriptions look at cardinal smith look at a great guy a fantastic uh content creator and you will not be disappointed uh you'll probably even like He's his stuff guy. more than you like ours if you're still watching at this point <laughs> <laughs> let's be real here he, he might he might take us over he yeah might yeah he might steal our market uh, but. He, he's definitely got <laughs> he's got yeah, yeah. I can't invest like, like you guys, guys can. can. You, you millionaires. millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got, he's got a lot of good stuff going for him. But um, you know, when it all comes down to his personality, and this guy's got it exactly. Sure. So, um, this is Last Rohican and Luxbu and Luxbu and Cardinal Smith, and we just want to say, Happy, Happy gaming, gaming, gamers. gamers.